All right, guys, you know what time it is. A leveling build for Chain Lightning, as always. One of the most predominant and most used skills in Diablo 4 for the Sorcerer while you're leveling up to 50. And I'm going to break down everything you need for the build and how to use it. So let's get in here. Of course, we're doing Chain Lightning. Why wouldn't we be? And even though there's a big, huge buff to, or excuse me, nerf to Arclash, the build actually still slaps. It's still pretty good. However, I still think Firewall our Shards is probably going to be a little bit better. But let's do this anyway. So we are taking one point into Firebolt. We're going to get to that into a minute. Uh, we're taking five points into Arclash, up into Glinting Arclash to give us a uh, stun, giving us more stun. If you wanted more movement speed, you can, but we want to reduce cooldowns by uh, 0.5 seconds. Then we're going to come down to our core skills. Five into Chain Lightning, into Greater Chain Lightning, so every time it bounces off you, you deal 10% increased times damage. One point into Devastation, increase our mana. Three points into Elemental Dominance, so while our core skills uh, deal 9% increased damage while cast above 50 mana. Then we're going to come down to our defensive skills, guys. We take always take a lot of defensive skills for Sorcerer. <clears throat> we're going to have Teleport into Shimmering Teleport to give us damage reduction and just for very good mobility. We're taking three points into Elemental Attunement, so on a lucky hit crit strike, we have a chance to reset one of our skills. Hopefully, it's always Ice Armor or Frost Nova, but Teleport's really good, too. <clears throat> Next, we take Glass Cannon because every Sorcerer should. 18% increased damage is insane, especially if you cannot be hit. Then we're taking Ice Armor <clears throat> into Enhanced Ice Armor just for Mana Regen and a Barrier. Then we have Frost Nova down into Mystical Frost Nova to make everybody vulnerable. This just helps us really just annihilate big groups of enemies. Then no Conjuration skills. We're going to take one point to align the elements for damage reduction. Two points into Mana Shield so we get 10% damage reduction after spending 100 mana, which is pretty easy with Sorcerer. And then one point into Protection to give us a Barrier. Uh, then we're coming down to Masteries. We're taking no Masteries, but we're taking some passives here. So we're going to have one point into Inner Flames, which is going to give us more damage with Pyromancy skills uh, while we're healthy. And then three points into Devouring Blaze, so we get in a big 30% increased critical strike damage against Bernie's enemies. If they're immobilized, this bonus is increased to 75%. Absolutely huge. Then we're going to come down, and we're not taking any ultimate skills except for Unstable Currents. Unstable Currents all the way up to Prime Unstable Currents. We don't actually need the Supreme for Crackling because we're not doing Crackling. But this allows us to increase our attack speed as well as uh, whenever we cast a Shock skill, a random Core Conjuration or Mastery Shock skill is also cast. So the only Core skill that's going to trigger is Chain Lightning again. So we'll get free extra Chain Lightnings, no problem, while this is active. Then we got a bunch of passives here. We got three points into Fiery Surge. Killing a Burning Enemy gives us Mana Regen. Uh, endless prior for more damage but we only use this to get to warmth to give us some sustain so every time that an enemy is burning and we're nearby we get to heal then we have down into our key passive we're taking veer's mastery close enemies take 10 percent increased damage from our shock skills and 20 percent less damage to us our crit strike chance increases by 25 percent for these uh for three seconds so you're going to ask yourself well why are we taking burning skills here and burning things and why did we take firebolt so in our enchantment slot here, you can see that we have Firebolt. Direct damage from skills applies up to an additional 23% burning damage over 8 seconds. We don't care about the burning damage. We don't care about that for Chain Lightning. We take Firebolt, so whatever skill that we're doing damage with applies burning. No matter what, direct damage from any skills applies burning. Very, very important. Now you're going to ask, well, why'd we have to take one point into Firebolt? Because you cannot put a skill into the enchantment slot unless it's either one on your action bar or you've taken a point in the skill. <clears throat> so we're not going to be using Firebolt, but in order for it to be in the enchantment slot, we had to put one point in. Otherwise, it doesn't work. That's why other skills that don't have points in them are grayed out. So that's why we have Firebolt. Next, once you get to 25, we're taking Chain Lightning Enchantment. Chain Lightning forms after automatically after spending 100 mana. This is really, really easy. Three Chain Lightnings and you're done. You already got over 100 mana. Super easy. No big deal at all. So that is the build, guys. Let's, uh, looks like we have a Goblin up here. So let's go ahead and showcase the build. Again, teleport to get out. Freeze the enemies. Have Ice Armor to regen mana, Arc Lash them up, and then just Chain Lightning. Pretty easy to go. On big mobs, use uh, use um, 
Oh yeah, look at it. Just all dead. Just super dead. Use um what is it? Unstable currents. Super easy. The build actually is just really good. It's still a very good build, even with all of the nerfs. Okay, it's not necessarily the best for um, big mobs, I would say. Unless you're able to freeze them like that, and then it's really easy to kill them. Because Chain Lightning bounces so many times, it's going to be really hard. There's a legendary affix that allows it to bounce twice. This is perfect, so let's pop Unstable Currents. And then we're just going to kill absolutely everything. Great for elites and single target damage. This build still thrives in close range against mobs. Applies the burning. Everything just incinerates, and it's great. Super, super fun build, guys. <clears throat> Very strong against single target damage because of all of the bouncing off. However, in mobs, it can be a little tricky because Chain Lightning just bounces wherever. However, there is a legendary affix that will get, allow it to bounce off of multiple enemies or two more enemies. However, that's not a codex. In all of our leveling builds to 50, we're just using codexes that you can get from dungeons. So, the main ones that you need. You need uh, Armor of the Might or Might. Basic skills give you damage reduction. Then Disobedience. Any damage that we do is going to give us armor. This should always be maxed. Then in our Amulet, we're going to deal increased damage to immobilized stunned or frozen enemies. We're going to make them immobilized from our arc, arc Lash as well as Burning. And then we're going to freeze them with our Frost Nova. Huge damage increase here. Next, using a cooldown is going to give us more mana. So using Ice Armor as a cooldown. Teleport's a cooldown. Frost Nova's a cooldown. Unstable Currents is a cooldown. So all of our main skills here, besides our first two, are all cooldowns. And it gives us 22 mana back every single time. Super strong. The last one that you need is the Recharging Band. Each time Chain Lightning bounces off of you, you get 4 to 6 mana back. So that's why in big groups, having this, this is good. But in big groups, you're not going to get it to bounce off of you as much. But single target damage, it's always going to bounce off of you, which is really huge. Just allows you to spam Chain Lightning and have your mana just be at full all the time. So, guys, those are the only uh, gear pieces that you actually need for Chain Lightning. It's still a very, very powerful leveling uh, build all the way up to 50. However, I would probably change off of it. Ice Shards, Firewall, even Ball Lightning is probably what I would transition into after Chain Lightning because it's just insanely stronger. So that is the build, guys, 1 to 50. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to like the video. Comment down below, guys. What do you think about Arc Lash and Chain Lightning? I know that they got a big nerf, and I know people are still a little upset with it because it was supposed to be super, super strong at the start of launch, but now they've nerfed it kind of into the ground. I still think it's okay. It's pretty balanced, but it still requires some legendaries. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.